everyone my age remembers where they were and what they were doing when they first heard about the contest. I, James Donovan Halliday, being of sound mind and disposing memory, do hereby make, publish, and declare this instrument to be my last will and testament, hereby revoking any and all wills and codicils by me at any time heretofore made. Forget it. Let me see the highlights. Even at that speed, it would take me a month to read the whole thing. Sad to say, I don't have that kind of time. My entire estate, including a controlling share of stock in my company, is to be placed in escrow until such time as a single condition I have set forth in my will is met. The first individual to meet that condition will inherit my entire fortune, currently valued in excess of $240 billion. That's a dome putting up for grabs. What the hell? You can't take it with you, right? Now, I'm sure you're wondering, what do you have to do to get your hands on all this moolah? Well, hold your horses, kids. I'm getting to that. The very first video game system I ever owned was an Atari 2600. I got it for Christmas in 1979. My favorite game was this one. It was called Adventure. Like many early video games, Adventure was designed and programmed by just one person. But back then, Atari refused to give its programmers credit for their work. So the name of the game's creator didn't actually appear anywhere on the packaging. So the guy who created Adventure, a man named Warren Robinette, decided to hide his name inside the game itself. He hid a key in one of the game's labyrinths. If you found this key, a small pixel-sized gray dot, you could use it to enter a secret room where Robinette has hidden his name. This was the very first video game Easter egg. Robinette hid in his game's code without telling a soul, and Atari manufactured and shipped the adventure all over the world without knowing about the secret room. They didn't find about the Easter egg's existence until a few months later, when kids all over the world began to discover it. I was one of those kids, and finding Robinette's Easter egg for the first time was one of the coolest video gaming experiences of my life. Before I died, I created my own easter egg and hid it somewhere inside my most popular video game, The Oasis. The first person to find my easter egg will inherit my entire fortune. The egg is well hidden. I didn't just leave it lying under a rock somewhere. I suppose you could say that it's locked inside a safe that is buried in a secret room that lies hidden at the center of a maze located somewhere. But don't worry, I've left a few clues lying around to get everyone started, and here's the first one. Wherein the rent will be tested with four worthy traits, and those with the skill to survive these traits will reach the end where the prize awaits. I couldn't play test this particular game, so I worried that I may have hit my Easter egg a little too well. Maybe it's too difficult to reach. I'm not sure if that's the case. It's too late to change anything now, so I guess we'll see. So without further ado, let the hunt for Halliday's Easter egg begin.